you've seen, but probably not read, all the fine print and the countless contracts you've signed over the years. Well, now state lawmakers want to help you out. Political specialist Sean Boyd live at the Capitol for us tonight. And Sean, it's about arbitration and agreements many of us may not even be aware we've made. Karen, what we're talking about is boilerplate language in contracts almost all of us have signed at some point. Cell phone companies, cable companies, daycares, nursing homes, and most employers all have arbitration clauses in their contracts that are often written to give the company the advantage if there's a dispute. The doctor had to wire my mouth shut for eight weeks. Alma Jones' story almost unbelievable. She was walking a dog when she was yanked face first to the concrete, resulting in $45,000 in medical bills. Bills her insurance company refused to pay, and when she appealed, said her only option was arbitration, rigged, she says, in their favor. You feel powerless. Representative Mike Weissman says it's time to level the playing field. They are forcing individuals, consumers and employees into this alternative pathway, keeping them out of court with a dispute. Uh, and then they are picking the person who will stand in the shoes of, of the judge. He's carrying a bill that would require arbitrators disqualify themselves if they, their family or any associate has even a potential conflict of interest. It seems to me that in most cases, arbitrators are going to be disqualified in cases uh, and it's going to drive more and more disputes into, into litigation. Representative Cole Wiss says arbitrators are already held to the same ethical standard as judges, but Weissman says without transparency there's no way of holding bad actors accountable. Jones ended up suing despite the arbitration clause and won, but her attorney says in many cases people give up. There are a lot of people who just get swept under the rug and don't get any kind of justice. Big companies need to be more clear and more fair to everybody. Now, another bill up today would require arbitrators publicly post all of their cases, including who won and how much. Critics say if the problem is companies have too much power in these arbitration clauses, these bills don't get at that. Even if they pass, and I really do not think they will make it through the Republican-controlled Senate, they will be challenged in court as violations of the Federal Arbitration Act. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean.